What's going on guys? My name is Cooper from GuiltyTutors.com and in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you how to make this spreadsheet. So if you've watched any of my recent crash videos, you know I use this spreadsheet to show you how some of my strategies work. So actually first, if you just want to download this spreadsheet, you can do that in the link in the description. I'll leave that down there. And if you want to see how this spreadsheet works, I'll put up a timestamp right here and you need to go to that point in this video and then I'll show you exactly how to use this spreadsheet. But if you want to watch me build it, just stay tuned and we'll do that right now. So first what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this top line up here. So we're just going to highlight that. You don't actually have this, but I'm just going to copy this and bring it over to a new sheet so I can show you how this is done. So we're going to paste this over here. All right, so these lines are original bet, auto cash out, on loss percentage, number of bets, bets, revenue, total number of bets, or total of bets, and profit. So first what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in these original bets. You can put whatever you want here. I'm just going to put a cent, auto cash out on two, and on loss percentage 101%. And make sure you have that percent there, and if you don't, it'll screw some things up. So first we're gonna do this number of bets. So this is just simply counting one, two, three. So what we can do here, instead of counting the whole way down to 100, we're gonna highlight these first three numbers. Now as you can see here, there's this little box in the corner and when you hover over it, you should get this little plus sign. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna drag this the whole way down to 101 because that will be 100 bets. So let's go back out to the top here. So now that we have our number of bets, we can figure out what all of our bets are actually gonna be. So our first bet, of course, is just gonna be equal to the original bet, which is one cent or whatever that original bet is because you can change this original bet and it'll now change this. And I'll show you how to do that. You actually just put in an equal sign and then you can click in that box and then whatever you change that box to, it'll change that box over here too. So our next bet, so what is our next bet gonna be in this progression? So let's think about it. So it should be the bet before and then times the on loss percentage because we're just assuming that we lost our last bet. So now let's press enter. So I don't think it would be this one cent with a little bit after it. I think it should be two cents because on loss we're increasing 101%. So that's not right. So what we need to do here is first we're going to reference lock this second number. So what that is, is you just need to put dollar signs in front of those two symbols. So it should say dollar sign C dollar sign two. And what this does now, we can actually drag this formula down and that C two is going to stay the same. It won't change while the rest of them do because we want the rest of them to change. And I'll show you why here in a second. So it's still that one cent, it should say two cents. So how do we make it say two cents? Well, actually what we need to do is add this original bet because this number here is just this original bet times that, but we also need to add back the original bet. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're first gonna put this first equation in parentheses. So it should read parentheses E2 times dollar sign C, dollar sign two, end of parentheses. And then we're gonna put a plus sign and then we're gonna click on this, uh, this first bet again. So we're gonna click on that. And now when we press enter, we should get two cents with a little bit after it. So what's really cool with Excel, or I'm actually using Google Sheets here, but what's really cool is you can just hover over that and we can double click this little box right here. And it'll actually bring that formula down and all of these numbers should be correct here if you did it right. So just follow the numbers I have on my screen and they should look the exact same. So now let's do revenue. So our revenue is going to be what we would make if we did win that, how much money we should generate if we win this bet. So here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna put in an equal sign. We're gonna do the bet that we did for this time. We're gonna do times, and that should be that little star there. I'm sorry if I didn't explain that well enough. Times, and then we're gonna do the auto cash out number. So we're gonna click that. When we press enter, it should say two cents. So this number over in the revenue, if your auto cash out is two, should just be double of what these bets are over here. So let's just hover over this. And if we actually bring this down, we're gonna see a whole bunch of zeros. And this is because we didn't correctly reference lock this number. So we're gonna to need to reference lock this B2 here in this formula. So we're gonna go before the B, put a dollar sign, before the two, put a dollar sign. So now we're gonna press enter. So now it is two cents. But now we have reference locked this B2, so that means when this goes down, 
that B2 is gonna stay the same. So it's always gonna multiply your original bet by two or whatever is in the auto cash box. All right, actually for this one, since we did it wrong the first time, we're actually gonna have to just click in this little box and drag it the whole way down to 100 like we did before. So we're gonna do it to 100. So now we brought it down to 100. So all of these numbers in this revenue box should be double of these ones over here. And I'm just gonna show you real quick, if you change this auto cash out, let's change it to three, for example. So now these should be three times of what the other ones are. And that's something really cool that you can do with this spreadsheet. But let's finish it first before we get into how it works. So total of bets, this is just gonna be the total of the bets that you had so far. So I'll show you how to do this one. So the first one is just gonna be this first bet because that's the only bet we've had. So now we have this bet here, the two cent bet and this one cent bet. So we're gonna have to add these up. So it's gonna be two cent bet plus, we're actually just gonna use this bet above it. And that'll give us the total bets there. So now we can actually double click and bring this one down. So what this does here, so we're just adding this bet over here by the last bet in the total of bets column. And this should give you the total. So this one here, for example, is 15. So we have eight plus four plus two plus one. And if you do add that up, it should be around 15. So now let's do profit. So our profit is just gonna be the revenue minus the total of bets. So that's just gonna be how much money you would make if you won on that particular one. So it's very, very simple. So now we're gonna hover over this one. We're gonna double click this screen and it's gonna come down. And this is how much money you would make if you won on this particular bet and crash. So now something I always like to do with my profit is I like to turn it green. And then for the total of bets, I like to turn it yellow. And here's another cool thing we can do. As you can see, these ones up at the top have these borders around them. So we're just gonna highlight everything that is in the spreadsheet. We're gonna go right here. And then what we can do is there's this little border box right here. I'm using Google Sheets, but on Excel, it should be something like this too. And it'll just have a bunch of different border options for you to choose from. We're gonna choose all borders. And then we're actually gonna make these borders about medium sized. So I think that looks pretty good. And another thing we can do while we still have this all highlighted is we're gonna put everything right in the middle. I just think this makes it look a lot better. So another thing you can do, this one's optional, but I just like to do it, is all of these boxes that we're not using, we're gonna turn these black. It makes the spreadsheet look very, very professional and I just like the way it looks. So we'll do that and then we'll scroll up here. And then you can actually just click in these boxes and drag over and that'll highlight all of those boxes and we can turn those black. So this one should look almost exactly like this one over here. Actually, it looks exactly like it. It's just not centered over here. But that is how you make this spreadsheet. So now, how do you use this spreadsheet? Well, it's very simple. The only thing you should ever change in the spreadsheet are these three boxes right here. So you can change this original bet, auto cash out, and on loss percentage. For this original bet, say we make it to two cents. So all of our bets are going to be double of what they are now. Our revenue is going to double, our total of bets is going to double, and our profit is going to double, which is really cool. We can go the whole way up to a dollar. We can go up to $10. We can do anything like that. We can also change this auto cash out. We can go down to one. We can do 1.5. We can do 10. We can do 100. And that'll just change and show you what you would make in crash if you used this on auto bet. So all of these are interchangeable. And the really cool thing about this is you can try a bunch of different numbers and you can just go through and see if you can find a strategy that suits you. This is pretty much what I did and this is how I found a lot of my bets like for example the Martingale method where you just do one cent auto cash out on two and increase on loss 101 percent. So I definitely recommend just trying some of these numbers. It's actually really fun to go in and just mess around with all of these. So the link to download this Excel file, like I said before, will be in the link below. And if you don't have Excel, you can actually use Google Sheets to mess around with this method. That's what I'm doing right now. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did like this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more similar content. And if you need tutoring of any kind, please go to guiltytutors.com. Thank you.